All right. So allow me to mute you guys. Okay. So thank you very much, everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, night session of uh, Diversify and Compound. My name is Pascal Difo, and uh, as usual, I'll be your host tonight. Um, so we, we basically haven't had uh, a session for the last two weeks. Uh, and the reason being that I was thinking of a way to revitalize, um, revitalize our sessions. Um, and the way, the, the reason why our sessions runs, uh, run the way they are is very simple. And before I actually get to that reason, allow me to remind you and remind anybody who will be watching this video uh, tomorrow and I and the days after that I am not a financial advisor and nor am I uh, um, an investment advisor. So I share my personal experiences on the projects that I take part of and, um, and, 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 and also uh, the stuff that I talk about are general knowledge. So follow it at your own risk uh, and um, you know, uh, own the results, whether positive or negative. Uh, positive or negative, because, um, you know, what I do is investment, and any investment involves risk. Uh, and you got to be able to own the good results and the bad results of any investment that you do. And if you choose to invest and follow my footstep, the first thing you should always remember is that never, you can only, you should only invest with the money you can afford to lose. So don't go around borrowing money to invest, all right? Don't go around borrowing money to invest. Don't use money that you, you need for living, okay? So it's very important. Now, going back to what I was trying to tell you about the reason why uh, our sessions have been set up the way they were set up. Uh, and what I mean by that is the way we run our sessions are really not promotion sessions. They, they don't help in growing teams. They maintain teams that are already there. Now, to tell you the story, uh, you remember when we started this thing, maybe some of you were not even, or did not know me at the time, but my journey in, in, in online investment and online projects started in January of 2020. And uh, it started with, uh, Chimol, as you all know. Um, I don't do things halfway. I go all in or I, don't, or I don't do it at all. So for me, in order to do it right with Chimol, what I did is I created a website. I put in all the content that could help myself and anybody who visited my website. And, uh, and that way I became a person of authority, at least with the knowledge that I had and that I was sharing. And because of that, people trusted me and, and, and you know, joined my network on Chimo. Of course, that got me to grow and to become like, uh, I don't wanna say a public figure, but someone that people could trust. And this is how I was able to build a small network, a small community. Then, you know, whatever happened, happened. So Chimo uh, went down, as we know, right? And so many people lost stuff, including myself. Uh, however, when that happened, I asked myself, what should I do? Should I just unplug everything and disappear like many other leaders did? Or should I... Um, what should I do? And then, you know, I, I spent a few weeks like that with that thought in my head, trying to find out what was the right course of action. And then I realized that you don't need a leader when everything is working well. You need a leader when things are not working the way they're supposed to. So as a leader, you have to be there when the people you're working with, when the community you're trying to lead is struggling, 
So that was the right time that if the community ever needed me to, to, uh, to support them, that was really the time where they needed me the most to be there for them and not just to unplug everything and go hide. So that's what I did. I came back online and I started, you know, uh, making people aware on mistakes that we made, things that we did wrong, and that led to what we were going through. Some people agreed to it. Some people did not agree. Some people, you know, agreed with me. And, um, and eventually, you know, some people that were really disappointed came back and listened to me. And then we kind of put together uh, ways to, to do things differently. You know, we learned how to properly select a project that had a chance to be sustainable. We did that. It doesn't mean that we were perfect from the get-go. No, we still managed to get a few that didn't go that well. But because in the meantime, we learned to diversify, it was less painful because it was just one out of many that we were contemplating, which was the major mistake we failed to do with Chime all because we chime all whenever we, we got something out of it, we we're creating new accounts instead of taking that money to diversify. So we all, at least with those, for those who join me on the second part of the journey, we learn our lessons and we were able to identify, uh, you know, some very strong projects that we are on it still, you know, until today. But the thing is that because I was able to reclaim some of the community that I had when I was Chimo, whenever I join a project, many of you join me because you trust me. Many of you join me because of the work that ended, you know, the journey we've done together. And as a result, for me, even if I don't reach the top, I move up. I move up and I can see that. But my problem here is that it was never my, my goal to move up, at least not alone. I want us to move up as a team. And me becoming a VIP one on Hyperfund or becoming a pace set a goal on uh, Daisy or getting some recognition on DT Socialize that I joined just a few months ago, like two months ago. While it could be rewarding, it's actually not for me. For those of you who got to know me better, it's not rewarding for me because I don't, I, I shouldn't be the only one getting these recognition. And this is the reason why I'm saying the way we run our meetings, the way we run our Zooms is not the way that would help you guys. It's helping me. It's helping me, but it's not helping you. And I believe we should do it in a way that is helping you. Because most of you, whenever I bring something, and by the way, as I said before, we are on five things, Daisy, Hyperfund, AI Marketing, DT Socialize now, and the GM Academy. I'm not planning on bringing anything else. I don't want to get confused or get stressed out because something is not working right. So... Those are the ones that I want to focus on. And I recommend you do the same. Right? So once you found, I want to say the one, maybe I should add an S to one. Once you think you found the ones, right? Then leave everything else aside. Do not get distracted. Focus on those ones, nurture them, make them grow because they will pay you. 
let me tell you the difference between winners and losers on these online businesses. The losers, it take them forever to make a decision, like forever. You tell them about a good project, they will study it. They will get, I don't know, all kind of diploma from, you know, from studying that project while other people are already jumping in. And then when they finally join, if there is any issue before you know it, they already decided that it, oh, it's not good and they jump to something else already. So it takes them too long to make a decision. And then as soon as they even make that decision, they change it like that in the blink of an eye. Those who actually succeed are those who can identify good projects. They identify good projects and they jump in right away. And then once they jump in, it would take a bulldozer to move them from their position. Because in the first place, they, made, they did their due diligence and they knew that that was the project. That's what I did with Daisy, with Hyperfun. That's exactly what I'm doing with DT Socialize, which is uh, the, uh, the new kid in the block. You gotta be able to identify a good project and take position immediately. A good example is Daisy. When we joined Daisy back in January, Many people were like, oh my God, this thing, it took them like forever to start. They kept pushing the, the uh, you know, the, the, the start back and back and back since October. Uh, this is not a good sign. It's gonna die and people are gonna lose their money. That's what people were saying. And yet it did not prevent those who were believing in the project to join. And as a matter of fact, 53,000 people joined with a broken platform. Today, Daisy is story, right? Today, Daisy is story. We all know what Daisy has done and, uh, and uh, we all know what kind of money people are making on Daisy. So this is to say that basically the way we run our meetings, our Zooms is like, we basically just maintaining network that is already there. For me, the network is there, but it's not there for you. It's not there for you. Many of you guys are saying to me sometimes, oh my God, you know, with Chimal, uh, we were with Chimo, then we went with this one and all the people that I brought in, they don't trust me anymore and they do this, they do that. You're probably right, but to some extent only. I was able to talk to you. I talked to you, you listen. Why did you listen? If you were able to listen to me, and join me on all these other projects that I told you about and that are doing wonderful. Why do you think with the right words, those who lost money with you on other projects would not be able to listen to you? What makes you think that? Hunters don't come back with, uh, with, uh, with uh, you know, with something home all the time. Sometimes it takes them three, four times, uh, five attempts to actually catch something. Sometimes they catch those just little things. It's not every day that they kill an elephant. No, same as fishermen. I don't know if you guys fish, but when a fisherman goes out there to try and fish, it's not every day they come back with a bag full of fish. Sometimes they come, they come back completely empty handed, like completely empty handed. It does not prevent them from going back the next day. 
they'll go back again and then again and then again until they catch it. And it doesn't mean that when they are trying to fish, it doesn't mean that whenever they're not catching anything, it doesn't mean the neighbor on the same body of water is not catching anything. No, right next to them, the guy is catching like crazy. So there's fish in there. They just don't know how to do it. Maybe they not have it. They don't have the right tool. Maybe they don't know how to hook the fish. Maybe they still need to learn more in order to get better at it. You don't just quit the first time or the second time or the third time you fall when trying to learn to bike. So. What I'm asking you to do is very simple. We need to do presentations. We need to present the different opportunities that we are in right now because we know they are working. They're not like all the scams that we've seen in the past and where we lost money. We all been burned. All the people you see making money today doesn't mean that they, you know, from the day one that they started their online business opportunities, they always made money. No, they actually lost a lot of money. I lost a lot of money. I don't want to even give you the list of stuff of, of opportunities I lost money in. But I know that there's money in there. We just need to find the right one. I didn't find one. I didn't find two. I didn't find three. I didn't find four. I found five. Most of you who follow me, who are within with me in this little community are at least in two or three of them. And you know I'm telling you the truth. You know they are working for you the same way they are working for me. But so far, they're working for you alone. It is time to change that. It is time to go back out there. We went back and told our people about the wrong thing and they lost money. Now that we found some that work, we should go back and tell them about them. We should go back and tell them about these ones that we finally found that are working. Because we also have evidence that they're working. And I'm not just talking about money that we earn. I'm talking about clear evidence of what these companies have already done. They're not just business plans. They are not just business plans. So we should go out there and tell them what we are now involved in. This is the challenge I'm giving you. All I need from you, whether you that are connected to the Zoom right now or you that will be watching it tomorrow, all I need from you is to give me, to, to find, I'm pretty sure every single one of you is able to identify three, only three people that trust you to the point that you can, you know, you can go to them and say, hey, John, Paul, uh, Henry, you know, I wouldn't lie to you, right? I know I took you in projects that didn't go well, but I believe I've now found a few that I really believe they might be the ones. And then get them to at least show interest, at least come to the presentations. And then when they come to the presentations, we'll present and they'll ask the questions. Even if they, they start just with the entry level, it is already a win and you are already rebuilding your network. Now, the key in network marketing is the ability to duplicate what you do. Now, how do you duplicate? The three that you brought in, I'm sure every one of them 
will be able to find three people, two to three people that will trust them to the point that they can tell them, hey, you know, we fail in, um, you know, the past one, the last ones, but we believe we found one that might be the one or two or three. And then take them to the presentations. And then we present and, and, and so, forth, so on and so forth. Now, if you brought in three and those three join, if they each bring in three, your second generation is at nine. If those nine duplicate and bring in three, your third generation is at 27. If the 27 do the same, your fourth generation is at 81. And you can keep going. Everybody only brought in three people. Are you able to bring in three people? Especially on projects that we know work. We have evidence they work. And I challenge anybody who will be watching this video to challenge me because I'll be able to show them evidence of what I'm talking about. All I'm asking you guys to do is to bring three people. Now, one problem that many have when creating a network is to be able to tell the right message. And usually, and I was, uh, I was saying that at the beginning, usually the way you tell the story end up killing the story, right? Maybe because you, you use the wrong words, maybe because you don't have, you don't, you know, you don't have that confidence when you're talking, talking about the project, that kind of turns down your listener or your audience. And because of that, usually it's because you're trying to become the message instead of just being the messenger. So for that reason, the way usually it is done is to prepare videos from those who can make good videos about the project. And then once we have the videos, we can put them on a link that the people you're talking to, at least to get an introduction into the project, can just click on that link and listen to the videos. All you're asking them is to watch the videos and then come to a presentation with questions if they have any. And I challenge you to send it to three people. Or if you want, you can send to more people with, with uh, the hope that you're gonna get three that will join you. And if we all do the same thing and we present and present and present, you'll see, you'll see it, 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 it makes miracles. It really does make miracles. There is no magic into this. There's no magic. I know many people that were that were trying to um, you know to 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 make money online. One reason why they fail, let me tell you, is because they hope to treat their online business like an ATM machine. You know, like one of those bank machine where you put in your card and it spits money out. No, online business isn't like that. So there are very few that can actually do that for you. Very few. And we actually manage to find those few. There are very, very few that can do that for you. So many people believe that, oh, I just put money in. I don't even bother reading, uh, you know, how to do this or how to do that. And then I'll, I'll get rich the next day. No, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. And then when it doesn't work out, other people tell them, oh, uh, all those things online are scams. You should actually put your money into farming. Oh, you should do fish farming. Oh, no, you should actually do, uh, 
you know, have a chicken, a, far, a, a, a chicken farm. And you take your money and you go for a chicken farm. Before you know it, you got to go get food for the chicken. You got to clean up. You know, they die. You're going to replace the water. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. And then you realize, oh, my God, I didn't know there was this much work in that thing. Yeah, because money doesn't come for free. Money doesn't come for free. If somebody is not ready to put in the work in his online or her online business, it means they're lazy. It doesn't matter what project they're going to do, whether it's farming or anything else. They're going to fail. I can tell you that right away. They are going to fail. As simple as that. It doesn't matter where the project is, whether online or in real life. It takes energy and effort. What you put in is what you get out. As simple as that. So don't expect that money will come in or come out without you doing some effort. And usually projects that tell you that you're not, you don't have any effort to make, well, they end up being scams. They end up being scams. So just to um, summarize again, we need to change the way we do these Zooms. And uh, there's no point. I named you five different projects that we're on. There's no point for our group trying to do, especially for me because I'm bilingual and a few others are bilingual. There's no point trying to do all five projects in two languages. There's only 24 hours in a day. And you, you know, I'll either make myself sick by trying to do everything or you know, I'll do it not good enough. So instead, instead, we should look for where there is a need and go in there. That's how you grow by becoming, by you know, by speaking, by becoming an authority speaker in that particular field. This way, you don't even have need to go out there and start talking. People will come to you because you have become a person of authority in the field. So some of the stuff we'll do in French, some in English. And do you know why I'm not afraid to say all this on a video that will go public? Let me tell you, it's sad to say this, but many of my African brothers and sisters are lazy. They're not gonna do anything. I can even lay the entire plan on a piece of paper and put it online. They're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do it. And yet, when you start earning the profit from all that effort, they'll become jealous. They'll become jealous and then um, when they finally join you, they'll be wondering why they're not making as much as you did, even though you, you, you started a long time ago and you're putting more effort. So there is room to grow. There is room to grow. Brenda Chonga, who is my upline, uh, I don't know how many levels above me, started Hyperfun 10 months ago, or maybe now 12 months ago, about a year ago. That's when she started Hyperfun. She is now a VIP five. She is now a VIP five. I'm not gonna mention how much she earns. If you wanna know, just go to her presentations. Our compliance department does not allow us to mention any figures, so I'm not going to do it. All I can tell you is she's doing very well for herself.
And she, all she did was presentation, talking to people, presentation, talking to people, getting people to join the presentations and explaining, explaining, explaining. As long as you are ready to put in the work, you're gonna get the rewards. So my plan, luckily I'm bilingual. So my plan is to prepare all the videos. Some I'll probably have to make myself. Others are all available online. Daisy, all the videos are available in English. So I need to make the video in French and make them available. Uh, Hyperfun, the videos are already available for, let's say, training. But the video presenting the actual project are also available in English. So I'll put that together so that you can share it with your own people. AI marketing is available. So I'll put the video. When I, when I say I'll put the video together, I, it means attach the key videos on a website that I will create so that all you need to do is share the link with the people, with the prospect that you wanna share the link with. So that when they go through the videos, it gives them a good idea of what the project is about. And then when they join us, when they, uh, when they join us on, um, when they join us on one presentation, we can then clearly answer any questions they have. So I hope that I will soon have all the videos available, all the, those websites available. We call them landing pages, available so that you can share them with, uh, with your community so people can actually get to use them. And hopefully by doing this way, you will be able to, to grow, grow your own network. I want to see I want to see more of you guys as you know expert on on hyperfun or as professional on hyperfun as uh, you know pacer of gold on daisy or or director in uh, in AI marketing and so on. I want to see you guys become that. And the only way you can become that is by sharing the ones the projects that you finally found working exactly the way you were expecting all the previous ones to work. Again, as I said, you were able to talk to people about the projects that fail. Now that you found those that are not failing or those that are proving to you that they are the one everybody have been looking for, I think you owe them to go and tell them. You owe them that. Because if you feel bad for not going to them because you took them to project or you invited them to join some project that didn't go that well, and you and them, you know, you and they lost money, then you owe to them to go back now that you found one that's working for you and tell them, okay, you know what? I know we lost money, but I think I found one that is working because it's been working for me. And these are the proof. And then you owe them to tell them that. So you got to reverse the way you think. You got to reverse the way you think. It's not because the other ones fail that you're never going to talk to them when you find the one that don't fail. You exactly should do the opposite and tell them about the ones that you found that are not, that are good and that have been working out for you all right so once i'm done with the videos on the landing pages i'll get back to um i'll get back to you guys and we will organize but in the meantime i need you guys to commit to do some presentations to pick uh, some projects where you want to present as i said we don't need to present in high, uh, on Hyperfun. We already have Keith Williams, Brenda, Kalpesh, all those guys doing it. Presentations. Um, so Daisy, we have presentations. If we need to, we can do Daisy because um, they don't do Daisy all the time anymore. 
just because there's so many things involved in DAISY now, which is great because uh, the more things get involved, the more secure it gets. Those who didn't join DAISY before, they're regretting it. Why? Because you all got the token for 10 cents. And now if they wanna buy the token, it's gonna be pretty expensive. So yes, you owe that to, uh, to those people. You owe it to them to tell them. Okay, so think about it and pick already between AI marketing, uh, AI marketing and DT Socialize. Those are the two where the, uh, the English content is not available. Pick between those two because we want to cover um, we want to cover the week, at least three days of the week where we present those ones. As you can imagine, I cannot do all by myself. I will be there to assist you. I'll be there to hold your hand. But we need to do this together. I'll show you, I'll give you tips. Usually the first time somebody presents, they write down everything they wanna say on a piece of paper for every single slide. And then when the slide is going on, you don't see them. They're reading their notes, but all you see is the slides and you're listening to them. And at the end, it's good, good presentation. And then next time they may do the same thing again. And then after that, you know, they eventually get more comfortable and they don't need their notes anymore. And that's how you present, as simple as that. As simple as that. So please, there are these two, AI marketing and DT Socialize. These two are close to non-existent in the English part of Africa. I don't see it a lot in Nigeria. I don't see it a lot in Ghana. I don't see it a lot in all those English speaking part of Africa. That is market to take over. There is enough people for all of us, as long as we are ready to put in the work, as long as we can invite each three people that will also invite each three people. And the good thing is there is going to be, you know, things to win. There are going to be uh, prices. We're going to, uh, you know, get some winners at the end. And the price is, uh, who knows, maybe going to fund their account for that particular project, which is great. What, what you know, isn't it the best way to start in a project without having to get money out of your pocket, right? Okay, so think about it and um, please, I don't wanna be forced to name anybody or to assign anybody to do it. I want you guys to come up and tell me, you know what, I can try this, I can try that. It's only the two, AI marketing and DT Socialize. I'll be doing, let's put it this way, I'll do one day and then uh, I'll do one day and between you guys, you can split uh, the other days. We only have two topics. The other topics we can hook up, we can hook onto uh, you know, someone else's presentation, it's fine. All right, so please, I'm expecting you with, uh, with names and picks. Okay, so that was a long introduction, but uh, it needed to be said. Uh, let's move on to, let's move on to the next one. Let's move on to the next one. And again, as I said, we're not gonna cover everything. We're not gonna cover everything. We're going to cover just uh, the key thing that have been going on. 
Um, let us talk about, let us talk about um, what we want to talk about, AI marketing. Oh, no, no. Before we actually get to AI marketing, I want to touch a few things about, about the trading. Um, I don't know if any of you guys connected here right now are at the GM Academy. Are you at the GM Academy, uh, Margaret? Yes, sir. Who else is at the GM? I think you are too, Razak, right? Yes, I was, but I've backed out for a while. I'm trying to, actually what happened is that uh, I've not renewed my restriction. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna do that by next week. There's something I'm working on. Okay. So I want to okay. be sure of that before I actually renew my subscription. So I'll do that next week. The reason I'm bringing the trading and uh, the academy up is because of uh, a huge swing we had yesterday. Uh, what I mean with swing is we had, uh, I don't know if it was, we had an almost 20% drop of the Bitcoin and several altcoins. So many people's position got liquidated especially if they fail to properly do their money management. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if you, uh, Margaret, you're already taking signals um, on a daily basis, are you? Yes, I do. Did you get liquidated yesterday? No, no, I didn't get liquidated. Because I don't do too much of the of the future. Uh, future, okay. I do spot, and okay. I stop setting up my my stop loss on spot. Instead, I do my take profit on spot. Okay. So I I will always remain in the market. That's yeah. That's a good thing about spot mm -hmm. because with spot you're not borrowing money to invest, right? And because yeah. you're not borrowing money to invest, you, you're safer than somebody who's on, on futures because on future, yeah. people use leverage. People yes. use margins. And because yeah. they using leverage and margin is basically borrowing money from the platform to invest with. Mm -hmm. When you're winning, everything is good. But if you're losing or if the, uh, the crypto market goes in a direction that that is uh, deep into uh, your positions, you might actually lose all your capital. And, it, and especially if you did not do a proper money management uh, by calculating exactly how much you know, uh, positions you could take based on the capital that you have. And some people do that and um, some other people just forget to raise their stop loss each time they take profit. Because normally, each time you take profit, you're supposed to move your stop loss up. Normally, when you take your second profit in a trade on future, your stop loss should now be at zero. Meaning that if something happens, you actually leave that trade, you'll be kicked out of that trade with profit. And that's the reason why we train everybody to learn to understand what to do with the stop loss each time they, uh, they take a profit. And this is very important. So many people got liquidated yesterday for that reason. Many people. So, yeah, you want to make sure uh, when you when you uh, when you use futures on uh, on on Binance that you make sure you always do a proper money management uh, to to have a good control of your risk. All right, so. Because of uh, the situation yesterday, I wanted to bring this up. 
so that uh, you know we all aware. You want to say something, Ron? Yeah, Ron? I too got liquidated. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, right? This thing, I don't think it was about like money management, because like usually taking a one a X, um, like I had positions that had like three X on it on futures. Like there was no way like it could go down to that to that extent. Like the swing was something I don't think anyone saw it coming. I just like went to bed and I just woke up in the morning and it was like <laughs> it was like a nightmare, <laughs> but it's okay. Like I didn't see it coming. Like all the positions, I didn't, I have never I've never seen that for for the almost three, three years I've been watching or two years I've been actually like looking on crypto oh so no but we learned it lessons. happened it happened just uh it happened in may it happened yeah. in may it was but actually it, worse than what happened yesterday yeah but the one in may started like there was a small drop so people were like anticipating maybe yeah. if nothing this one was just like yeah yeah okay good like, like it didn't have to like a warning a warning sign like hey this could happen because it went yeah. up like 52 and Everyone was expecting to like go maybe um a, a big hype the next day. And I just went to bed. I said, Well, I'm I'm safe. Like I put my stop loss in a place like it can be like the last lowest price it hit like a week ago. So I know like even if this thing goes down, it can never get there. And it's like X3. So I woke up X5, like everything was liquidated. I was like, wow, this is yeah, just one thing, one about. thing you're not one thing you're not considering is the amount of positions you probably had open. How many positions you had open based on your capital? I think I had nine, yeah. Okay, How, what is your capital? My capital was 1,200. Okay. And so how, were your, how were your leverages? And um, how, what was the highest leverage you had? The highest leverage I had was X10 which was on one position. The rest were like X5 and some of them were like X3, so. Because all this is a math thing. If you take a pen and you do all the math, you will actually get to understand why you got liquidated. Because at the end of the day, Binance will always try to protect themselves. Because at the end of the day, all those Xs that you did, when you win, you win with X, but when you lose, you also lose with X. Exactly, yeah. Right? So if yeah. you do the math now and you see that all those positions went down by those Xs that you were expecting to win at, it, it's very probable that it will actually uh, eat up all your, your capital. Yeah. They all went like way below like the liquidation. Because exactly. what you said, obviously, it tells the liquidation price, you know. But the thing is, I was so over. I said the trades, I did not expect it would go that low. So some of them, I didn't put a stop loss. And the biggest oh, thing that killed me. Oh, the biggest God. Thing that yeah, me, that is overconfidence. <laughs> yeah. The biggest thing that killed me is, is the time difference, you know. Because sometimes you set a trade like, you set a trade and you say, okay like a limit trade when it drops to this price you buy you know mm -hmm. and then like like four of them were on that so i yeah expected so hedge to buy. you were hedging as well yeah i hedged some so the trades got in so and then when things went down everything just went down too so oh, like the time the time difference played on me like like, I mean, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm like nine hours away from European time. And that was a European market that hit and it went down. So the thing when is, I, woke I, up, I saw that happening. I it, almost, almost, it, it didn't happen in front of my eyes, but I was, I was actually with leader Diana. I was at work and I was communicating with leader Diana and we were talking about the market and, um, and just before that, I had taken a look at um, my Binance. And at that time, the Bitcoin was at 
51, no, it was at 50 and 600. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, uh, it will probably go up again. And I'm, as I'm talking to leader Diana, a few minutes later, she tells me the market just crashed. I said, no, it cannot. I, I just watched it. She said, no, it just crashed. It is at yeah. 42,000. And I was like, what? 42,000? Yeah. It and was a crazy drop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was. It was. So I don't no. know. I don't know what kind. I don't know what the Chinese people did, or I don't know how many people made that move, but a big whale yeah, probably whale. made the move and dumped something at once. Yeah. And that was the only way the market could move in a few seconds that much. Exactly. Because I was confused when I woke up, like I wanted to understand. I went online, I was reading anything I could find. Like the only possibility is that some whales decided to make a big dump for prices to move so they can make some kick some people out of markets and buy more and exactly that's all I could get to. Exactly. Yeah. Because keep in mind, when it dropped to 42, if the whale or whoever the group of people that did that had their their um, their buying price set at 40, let's say 43 or 44, of course they bought already and then it went like immediately went back up to uh, 46 even exactly. if they just sell at that time and they have a big capital imagine the amount of money they made in a few seconds exactly they could make billions in like in like yep. like 30 minutes exactly because the way it went back up i was surprised it went yep. back up to 46 immediately to 46 up to, up to 48 and then it was crazy like Nobody had seen something like that before in the crypto market. So I was like, well, that's how we learn, you know? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> that's experience. Yeah. You learn, like, you I've learn, been doing you that, learn the I, hard way. Yeah, I've been doing that. Like I've been hedging, you know, before I go to bed. Since I expect that the, the time over there in Europe, that's when the price usually go like low and then you can buy low. Mm -hmm. And then when I wake up, they're probably starting to come up so I can maximize. I think I'll start watching the way I, the way I do hedging now. A lot so. of people actually do that. A lot of people trade with uh, with the market and with the, how the different markets uh, behave and how it affects the market. Like when some people go to bed, they notice that you know some prices drop and that's when they buy and things like that. Mm -hmm. I personally actually never never you know watch that that closely. I don't know if it's because I'm on this side of the world, but um, mm. it does make a difference. You're right. Yeah, I mean, I'm new to it, so I've I've been just trying to like understand the market when I can. I try to see understand the price drops, the way they rise, and the way prices move and all that. So this was like my first time. I was actually like <laughs> trying to trade futures and see how it goes so i just decided let me try the first time since i've been following the academy for almost like a month now mm -hmm. it didn't work out well but i'm definitely gonna keep trying <laughs> at least i've learned a good lesson yeah okay. um yeah yeah i guess all right good so yeah that um i uh, i didn't want to let um that situation go just like that because uh what happened on the market um needed to be discussed so that those who got liquidated as at least those who were on the market at least they get an idea of what happened and why it happened and how they can prevent themselves from uh being in that situation again okay uh any question about the market and uh, what happened yesterday No. All right. I have a quick question. Yes, sir. Do you think um the whales are still gonna play this again, or the market is gonna stabilize back? You they never they never give you a warning before they do it. Nobody knows because nobody knows who nobody knows who did it. So you you know it's part of the game. It's part of the game and um, 
And I'll show you one thing. Uh, I'll actually share a video that I posted in, I posted it in, uh, on, on, in our Telegram group for the Academy. So give me okay. a second. And, and that video, what, what the video shows is a group of Chinese people dumping some dumping, I think what, what they're dumping is the Bitcoin and you actually see the market drop. Now, I'm not 100% saying that this video was filmed for the yesterday um, swing, okay? Okay. But it is very similar to what happened and I won't be surprised wow. if that is the one. You Look at the video. I'll share it right now. Okay. Okay, so it reads here, the game is big, my friend, and we are small fish in the midst of whales. Chinese traders count down before the dump. I don't know if it is from yesterday. So you know what? Let me stop sharing. I need to, I need to share with sound. You'll, you'll hear them count, counting down and then dumping and then you'll see the price. It, it, it happened exactly the way we saw yesterday. Wow. Look here. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> the video is on um, on Telegram in the Academy uh, group in uh, Chris Chris Crip, uh, Crypto. Talk, I forgot how we call that group again. Uh, we called it, uh, what was it global market trading. We actually changed. That's crazy. Get to see what is, that is what that is what whales do. And then they already have their orders ready. And they just want that price to be hit. And once it's hit, their, their order go in. And then, you know, all the small fish, too bad for you guys. I mean, but it's kind of evil, you know, because they are like 1% and you have all these 99% <laughs> of people. <laughs> who just it's business. And they are. That's more than business. That's business without a conscience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so anyway yeah so that's exactly what whales do some people actually move money like that some people do it with tweets right and that's what we call market makers because we the smaller fish are market followers we follow the trades, we follow the trends. They make the trends. They decide when the market should go up and when it should go down. And that's just part of the game that you cannot control. They have the right to sell and the right to buy. It is the, uh, the law of the market, right? Anyway, let's talk about uh, AI marketing. But the funny thing with my AI marketing account is that it's not letting me connect easily. I don't know why. I have to use my, I have to even use my VPN sometimes to even connect. I don't know why it does that sometimes. And sometimes it wouldn't connect with my Canadian thing, and I has I have to switch it like to France. I mean, switch my uh, my VPN to France before it can actually connect. Like right now, my VPN is set on France. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to start my account so that uh, so that we can uh, we can discuss AI marketing. And it is very important that we talk about AI marketing. Do you have a Mozilla Firefox browser? I do, but before, before no, I, uh, I don't. Before I was actually doing it on uh, Opera, Opera, you know Opera? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know Opera. I have it too. Because I tried AI on um, on Google and Opera, it's hard to connect, but on Firefox, it connects easily. So I'll be using Firefox. So like, okay, then maybe I need to install one. Firefox then. Because before when Chrome used uh, to give me a hard time, I would go mm-hmm. and use uh, Opera and Opera would work. But now even Opera is giving me a hard time. So I'll yeah. try... I'll try, and, and I'm pretty sure it has something to do with that same problem that uh, is in Russia, so. All right, so let me share my screen. Um, you can do refresh too. Yeah, like sometimes, but then you have to refresh so many times and uh, at one point it's just, it's just frustrating. So let me share my screen so that we can look at AI marketing. So many people have already uh, written off AI marketing. And uh, I kept telling everybody that, hey, this company, this company had issues in the past and they've always honored their members and came back. So this is the third time that they go through some hurdles and yet they're back again. and. As I like to say to everybody, life is not perfect. Life, in life, everything is never always good. And I actually trust a project that stumbles, a project that falls, but always manage to stand. I've seen that with Daisy at the beginning. I don't know how many times Daisy stumbled at the very beginning before they launch. And even when they launch, they, they, fall, they fell flat on their face. And still, Daisy is around. It's not perfect. Every now and then we have issues, but they manage to take care of it. Same thing for AI marketing. You know, everything was working so smoothly until the issue with the Russian government happened. We all know that. And, uh, and they said to us, and the good thing, they never stopped communicating. And that is very appreciated from this company and their management. They never stopped communicating, even when things were not you know, the greatest because of that issue. They never stopped communicating. We were always aware of what was going on. It actually did calm so many people down. Now, we are back in business. We are back in business, baby. So on this account here, as you can see, my highest was 71. And you can see here that I'm already getting closer to it. It actually even just went down because the advertising budget went down. But now that they've taken into account, now that they've taken into account um, my uh, previous advertising budget, and we can see that by going into stats, right? We can see that the advertising budget is at 584, which is good because the greater your advertising budget, the, uh, the greater the cash back you're gonna get. Now, and, and this is the reason um, for you guys, this is the reason I'm telling you the format that we run our, our presentations in is not a format that is prone to help the community grow. It's a maintenance. For example, I just opened up this AI marketing thing and I'm just giving you updates of what has happened. It is not interesting for somebody who's trying to know what AI marketing is about. Somebody who wanna know what AI marketing is about needs to understand and needs to listen to the presentations and how it works. Where does the money come from? Whereas if you already have a community that knows all that and you just want to do some maintenance, some uh, you know standard maintenance, 
then this is what you do. You open up each product and you tell, okay, this is because of that and so on and so forth. So, and that's the reason why I was suggesting we change the way we do it. So let's continue for now with our uh, uh, maintenance thing. So by now, I believe all accounts have been upgraded. How was the upgrade? The first part of the upgrade was to see this these amounts here appear under your card. So your unspent was um, the, the, the money or the difference between your advertising budget and the amount spent already. That was your unspent. Your cash back here was the money you, have, you had accumulated in your cash back here, as well as for those who were community builders, the PRTN that they had on INB. That is all the money that you find in your cash back. And then pending, pending basically was the money that had not moved up uh, after the, uh, the payment delay had not moved up to your cash back yet. That's what the pending was about. So now, once they were done doing all these upgrades, this was the first upgrade, this was the second upgrade here, right? To start paying people with uh, the protection account that we, uh, we pay into every single time we get, uh, we get cash back. So that is what all this here was about. So once they activated this second part of this, uh, this display here, basically, whenever they make the money that normally should go to them uh, for their uh, daily operations, as well as for the protection plan, now they divide that in two and they pay us with that whenever you know money moves up to your cash back so they divide that money and they pay some here and once that money clears with the vendor you then get it here on protect available and if you click on claim cash back this money here is going to move up to your cash back here and you can then do whatever you want with it you can even withdraw once it reaches uh, when can you withdraw? No, you can, yeah, you can withdraw once it reaches, I believe, $10, $10 or something. So this is uh, where we are at with, uh, with, uh, with AI marketing. So things are back to normal. Uh, the last thing that they were working on was to move this advertising budget from where it was because it was not displayed. It had left from uh, the unspent here, but nobody was seeing it here in the advertising budget. So the good thing now is that the good news is that everybody can see that now and it is being taken into account when uh, you know running uh, advertising campaigns. What else do I need to say about this? So anyway, as you can see, right? If I go up to my advertisement, as you can see, uh, it is slowly going up. So hopefully it will catch up to where it left last time. And, uh, and then everybody will you know, be happy again. As simple as that. So does anybody currently have a question on AI marketing? Yeah, quick yeah, question. Yeah. Okay, uh, I don't know who was first because I don't see my. I'm uh, the last. I'm the last. I'm the last. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll start with Razak. Oh, okay. I thought I'm the last. <laughs> no, okay, he sorry. actually uh, let you go first. Okay. Um, thank you because. Uh, the issue I'm having is not actually on the AI marketing. I'm understanding the way it goes. Um, the first question I have is this. My IMB accounts, I can't open it. Every time I try to open it, it takes me back. 
to the beginning. That is number one. Then the number two, uh, how soon are we sure of getting this uh, pending? You know, when we look under this uh, previous campaign, we have a pending. Like in your own case, you have a 1,465. So in my own case, I have about 353. So how soon are we expecting that they will resolve that? Those are the two questions, particularly my IMB. The reason why I'm interested in the IMB account is that that is where I got my, uh, my refrap from. And since yeah. I can't open it, to copy the reference now, I don't know. You used to be able to open it? I can't open it. Whenever I try to, it takes me back. It always takes me back. It doesn't take me into the account. Yeah, but have you been able to open it in the past? Yes. Or yes, you never? Okay, yes, you used, used to. to. Um, yes. Okay. Until, the, until that July 18th stop, I used to open it. It should still be the same. Um, Anyway, so going back, I'll start with the second question, the pending. Okay. As we all know, the pending is the money owed to us from all the uh, campaigns that went through. Right? Yes. So right now, nobody knows. However, they actually started paying this money uh, no, paying this money here back here, but for the pending, once it clears the, uh, or once it clears the delay, the payment delay, they'll still have to resolve the issue that they have with the Russian government. And once they do that and their funds are released to them, they'll be able through the funds that they have at the bank to collect all the money, like this, your cash back will be paid uh, pending uh, whatever has reached the uh, the deadline to be paid will be paid. But all this, all the pending here depends on the companies that they were dealing with. If they were in Russia, that's one thing. If they were not in Russia, maybe they'll be able to collect it. They'll also at one point make the decision whether to pay completely with the uh, protect funds, in which case they will also be able to pay. But um, we have a meeting again in two weeks with them. And uh, I guess that's the next thing. Now that they, they pretty much brought in everything to where it's supposed to be, we all waiting for how they're going to handle the your cashback and the pending. So just be patient. All right. The second question, or actually the first one you asked is about uh, INB network. So I'll log out of here and, uh, and go to INB. INB.network. All right. Oh, my, it doesn't open. Really? Yes. Hmm. Ah, what is that? That's strange. Okay, probably. As okay. you can see, my this one, this one here. Yes, opens. I'm surprised. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll work on it later in the day. Yeah. All right. So the second question. So no problem. Who? Who? Uh, not the second question. Uh, was that you, Ron, or who was that? Who was asking a question? That was me. All right. Go ahead, sir. No, I just wanted to ask, like, if um AI marketing has started um the robot has started trading again, and if it has started um. Do we have to send in funds afresh or can you reinvest um, your, your profits you made already, the dividends? The answer is this. Right after August 16, which is when uh, they, they restarted officially, uh, anybody who actually put in money, their robot started working. Some other people did not want to do that 
So the robot did not start immediately. And, uh, but ev eventually it did start. Like I, I, I did put in money. I put like, uh, what, $50 in, in, in the account and the robot started immediately. Um, those who chose to, who chose to wait, they had to wait for another maybe two weeks or maybe a week and a half before the robot could actually start. Whereas mine was already making money. So as of, as of today, I believe all the robots, all the market bots are actually up and running. Okay. Any other questions about AI marketing? I found out that uh, under this uh, market where we usually have, or oh, it's on the first one, where we have the log off, we don't usually have it anymore. What are you talking about? Where, what, what, is it on INB or AI marketing? INB. Okay, what, is, what did you say is missing? The, where you log off? Yeah, you now it's called exit. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's exit. Like if I click on it, it'll kick me out. All right. Yes, sir. Um, before we finish this AI marketing section, uh, there is one thing I would like to bring up. Um, Margaret here had a situation where she had opened up an account but made a mistake on an email address. And then she contacted the support in order to, to get that email address changed. The support sent her an executable file an exe file. Nine out of 10 times, the exe file you get like that could potentially be harmful for your computer if it doesn't clean up all your cryptos or find your password and all that. Um, even though Margaret had contacted the actual um, the actual telegram address of the support. I personally found it very suspicious to, to be asked to install something on her computer before they can assist her. And my recommendation, and I did ask in several different groups online, and 99.9999999% uh, was that is a scammer. That is a scammer. So you want to be very careful before you install anything on, uh, before you install anything on your, um, on your computer, especially if it comes from somebody you don't know, even if they say they are the support. They're not supposed to have you install stuff on your computer. So be very, very careful. All right. Okay. The next thing, actually the last, unless you have questions on the other projects, because uh, Hyperfun is doing its thing. It's not much to say about Hyperfun unless you have questions. And if you have questions, we have, um, if you have questions, we have on Telegram, I think I share that with you guys in the group, unless you fail to read the information in the group. We do have this group here, Hyperfun, how to videos and schedule. So if I click on that, 
as you can see, it currently has 46, 44 members. And this is full of presentations, okay? Um, this is full of presentations, but only for members. It's only for members. So that's why I didn't wanna show it for too long anyway. It's only for members. So um, it is very important if you are a member to join that group because all the how-to videos are found in that group. Um, let's go ahead and discuss DT Socialize. Regarding DT Socialize. So, you didn't, excuse me. Yes, But you didn't tell us how, how do we join that group again? Or we are already in, if you are already in Telegram. I don't know. I No, you're not in if you're in Telegram. You, you Any group in Telegram is not open to everybody. So I posted the link to join in the past in our group. But if you're not on that, if you're not in that group, I'll, I'll post the link again. Okay. All right. Thanks. No problem. So let's talk about DT Socialize. And this will be the, uh, the last one for tonight. Let me share my screen. All right. So before we actually even uh, get to, 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 to watch the introduction of this video, uh, this is a video that is, uh, in my opinion, long due. Uh, and when I say it's long due, it's long due from me because the video is from a very important uh, announcement that was recorded on uh, August 27 by um, Daniele Marinelli, who is the CEO of DT Socialize. And in, during that Zoom that was in Italian, he basically went over all the stuff that the company is working on and why it's important and all this achievement that have already been completed and how huge these achievements are gonna make the whole project and the whole company become. Um, so the official, the original Zoom was in Italian. Then because I don't speak Italian, I had to wait uh, for a French translation to happen. And then after the French translation, I then had to put my own slides together to present you the incredible announcement that were made by Daniele Marinelli himself. So this is the introduction to uh, the uh, the actual Zoom, but we're not going to listen through it because it's in Italian. Buongiorno, buongiorno a tutti, ben trovati. Eh, sì, effettivamente Marco eh, hai ragione. No, un giorno di vacanza me lo son fatto, il giorno di Ferrari. Of course, I'm not going to let us, you know, uh, take Italian lessons now, uh, but I think we all know what buongiorno, buongiorno means, or buongiorno a tutti. It means uh, hello, hello everyone. And uh, again, you can see, you can watch the date here. It was August 27 when we had uh, this Zoom. And it was just incredible, all the stuff that Daniele Marinelli covered during that Zoom, which is basically what I'm gonna cover tonight. I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna present or talk about all the stuff that he talked about without all the great details because you can try as you know as much as you want to imitate Daniele Marinelli. You can never be Daniele Marinelli. So let me stop the presentation and start my PowerPoint.
All right, so this is my PowerPoint. This is my PowerPoint. Okay. All right. So DT Socialize, August 27 updates from Daniele Marinelli. I did not move in. Okay, let's start. Let's start with the blockchain phone. So basically, we all know what, uh, I'm not gonna go over what uh, DT Socialize and UShare are about. Uh, if you've watched some previous videos I made, you probably already know. So I'll, I'll stick to the plan. I'll stick to uh, you know, the presentation that Daniele Marinelli did, basically the updates on the major work that the company is working on. So let's start with the blockchain phone. So um, the blockchain phone finally started shipping out. Of course, it's gonna be on a first come first serve basis, right? Because uh, the first people to order it did order like prior to uh, COVID-19, but COVID-19 kind of delayed everything because the, 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 the logistic chain in the world were all affected by, uh, by COVID-19. And another reason why the device was not ready immediately after uh, you know, it was first presented or after the first concept was presented is because it has not been easy for the company to really find a manufacturer that was gonna be able to produce exactly the device that the company wanted while meeting all the requirements that the company had. So they tried Xiaomi, they tried all kinds of uh, a manufacturer and they finally settled with, uh, how do you call it? One plus, they finally settled with one plus and this device is a one plus device. Now, for those who have ordered the device, Check your email all the time because you they 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 will they will eventually send you an email to find out to confirm your address before shipping it out. But as I said, it is a first come first serve. Now this phone may look may look like you know all the other smartphone that we used to use, uh, you know on the outside. And it's normal, it is a smartphone. The only difference between this smartphone and the other ones is that all the change is inside. Inside because everything you do on this phone is encrypted using the blockchain query, which is a blockchain that was customized for a DT Socialize alone in order to keep your data safe. So some, you know, some, the apps, that are not part of the ecosystem will no longer be able to, to collect your data the way they do it now and sell it and make money out of it every second without you making any money at all, right? So those apps should, while they should still work fine, some of them might give you some warning like, uh, we noticed that this device has been changed and uh, you know, your, 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 how do you call it? Your, your app may not work properly. They, they, they may give you that kind of warning, but normally it should work fine. The only difference is that they will no longer be able, if you use this device, they will no longer be able to collect your data without you giving them the permission. Now, with this particular phone, as you know, if you use it the same way you use your phone daily, two to three hours a day, it will be generating enough data that if you sell, you will be earning around $80 every month. If you are within the first 10,000 phones, all right, you will then, your phone will be part of the blockchain infrastructure that certifies the data. And for that reason, if you are in the first 10,000 phones, you will get additional earnings because of that, because your phone is part of the infrastructure. So Daniela Marinelli also wanted to mention that with this phone, they're not trying to go 
compete against the Samsung or Apple of this world. All they're trying to do is to, uh, you know, to, to help users reclaim uh, their privacy as well as, uh, you know, keep their data private and monetize it only if they wish to do so. So that's all, that's what he, uh, he told us about the, uh, the blockchain phone. Now let's talk about the new social media that DT Socialize is coming up with. I personally called it social media 2.0. And we can see actually some, um, some, some pictures here of what is coming. And, and trust me, it's gonna be disruptive. It's gonna be so disruptive that you will look at the current social medias that we have, the Facebook of this world, and you will look at you way that DT Socialize is coming up with, it will be like uh, driving um, a Renault 5 and, and driving a Tesla. That's how far apart they are going to be. So this particular you way, this particular new social media that uh, the company has developed is going to change the face of social media altogether. It took a lot of work to come to where it is right now. And we have to be patient for them to perfect it, to make it even better. So we need to show more patience and understanding because there's still a lot of work to be put in there. However, the, uh, the CEO is confident that we should be seeing a the first beta version soon that we could actually interact with to, um, we could actually interact with to uh, to to you know to play around and to uh, to to discover any other issues that uh, th that might be there or, or or suggest some some improvement, right? Um, many people actually, when this U way was announced, were thinking, okay, we're just gonna have a Facebook, another Facebook on the market. Uh, by saying that, they were referring to DT Live, which is the very, very first version of the uh, uh, social media that was put together by DT Socialize, and they called it DT Live. But it is now so obsolete that the company doesn't even, you know, talk about it anymore because they've they have gone into a direction completely uh, uh, unannounced, completely uh, different from, from what we know or from what we use uh, to social media to look like, right? Because what is coming is just going to be so different that it's going to change the game altogether. So to, to give you an idea of what is coming, your way, what it's going to do is going to take, let's say, in the parameters in the configuration of the thing, it's going to take like your picture and uh, with your information and it's going to build, it's going to come up with an avatar, you know, very, very much looking like you based on the information that you put in without you having to give out any of your personal information. It will create that avatar and it will dress it according to the dress code that you want. If you're a jeans guy, it's, you know, you will pick jeans, like the lady on the left here, she is in jeans and uh, boats, and, and uh, sorry, not boat, but boots. If you like uh, suit and ties, you, you know, the dress code will be all yours to pick. And um, <clears throat> so your avatar will then look exactly the way you want it to look. And the good thing about this, is that you will be able to visit places around the world. You'll be able to visit places around the world in real time. It's not like, uh, you know, they'll re, re, uh, recreate a place and then you just use your avatar to go there. No, they'll put you, let's say you want to be in, 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 in Paris, they'll, you, you'll select the, uh, on the map and then your avatar will be there and your avatar when get there will be able to interact and you can see it you can see it here for example right you can see this avatar in this city this is in real time you'll be able to interact to walk around this place 
and see what is there. You'll be able to interact with other avatars that you see there and with your headset or if you are on your phone, you'll be able to talk to those avatars and they will answer back. And if they want to become friends with you, then you'll get another set of features that will be enabled for you to interact with that person. And then you will become friends. And this, all this inside the virtual world, right? Without you having given any of your personal information like email or phone number or whatever, this is amazing what's coming. So, and while you are out there wondering, right? While you are out there wondering, you will see stores. Any store that accepts to be paid in DT coin, if you don't know the DT coin, the DT coin is our very own cryptocurrency. The stores that accept to be paid in DT coin, you will actually be able to go in there, right? You weigh partners, for example, you'll see their list. You'll go in there and, and buy stuff. You can actually get in there and buy new, uh, new clothing for your avatar and pay in DT coin. It shows you here, for example, your U-Way wallet. It, it's just crazy what these guys are doing. It's just incredible what they're doing. And I can't wait. Can you just imagine when we were all confined at home, if we wanted, you know, if we had a tool like this, that would have allowed us to, to go out there and visit places and actually get to meet with friends that would also have their own avatars and, and go visit places. You know, I could have gone to, I don't know whether uh, Razak is in uh, Lagos or uh, Ibadan or whatever. I could have created an avatar and, and just drop myself in there and go visit Razak or, or Yemi or, 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 you know, Victor, you know. It, there's so many great things that are coming with this uh, with this social media. And as I said, uh, Daniele Marinelli, our CEO, is expecting a beta version to be released very soon. It may be this September or maybe next month, but he's expecting it already to be released in a beta version so that we can actually get to play with it. Now, the next thing he covered was about the London Stock Exchange listing. Um, if you've been watching the stuff that I post in our DT Socialized group, um, you know that I've been telling, I've been telling everybody that uh, DT Socialized has applied to be listed on the London Stock Exchange market. Okay, and the CEO believes that 2021 is the year that DT Socialized will be listed. So what does that mean? That means that, that means that um, we only have three months to go to the end of the year. It means that it will happen before the end of the year. So let's wait and see. Um, I, I can't say yes or no, it's going to happen, but the CEO felt very confident saying that. So he knows what he knows that we don't know. Uh, he knows how far it is right now. So Hill Dickinson here is a company that actually assists other company in getting listed. And this is a letter that they actually sent Daniele Marinelli about his uh, application to be for DT Socialize, right? To be, to be directly listed uh, you know, on uh, the London Stock Exchange main market. So the, the beautiful, the beauty about this project is that something that started just as a dream, you know, at the beginning they were seeing it as like a simple app you know, for training and acquiring big data uh, that they were going to list on the stock exchange, like just a little app. It now turned into a, 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 a giant project, like a fintech project with its own bank, right? Uh, with its own bank, the, uh, the DTS Circle Bank, which is going to be the very first bank licensed and accredited to deal with cryptocurrency as well as fiat currency. This is just amazing. Because what DT Socialized did, they worked the other way around compared to what everybody else did. Everybody else start doing business before looking for regulation. DT Socialized and Daniele Marinelli look for the regulator first. They become friends, friends with the regulators before going into business. 
our DTS Circle Bank is the first one that will be able to, uh, to handle and process both cryptos and, and fiat currencies. And it's already incorporated in Connecticut in the US. Uh, headquarters is in London. It's, in, it's already got the agreement in, uh, in the Comoros Islands in Africa, right? So we went from a tech project to become a fintech project, right? And with all the stuff that this company is, is working on, it's just gonna revolutionize several different industries. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. And you know about all the banking projects that they have and the free bank account, depending on the uh, membership, depending on the U card that you purchase. And we'll talk about that on, uh, on, the, on the next slides. Now let's talk about the holding. Let's talk about the holding itself and all the big companies that you see underneath here. All these companies belong to uh, the holding. Not always 100%, like this one, for example, uh, like uh, Cospay Limited, uh, is only 25% owned by the holding. This one here, uh, Azure Payment System, is only owned to 80%. However, a lot of them are owned 100% by the DT Socialized Holding. It is impressive to see that. I don't know about you guys, but when I think that I own a token of this company, that I own a DT Circle token, which means that I will be taking, getting a share of all these companies' profit commission paid to me because I am a token holder. I don't know about you, but this freaks me out. This freaks me completely out. I find it very impressive to know that I'll be making money out of these companies. And yet Daniele Marinelli and the other teams are there working. And all I had to do was to get a token. So basically as opposed to be just a technology company as it was supposed to be at the beginning, it is now a FinTech company that includes so many different you know, projects and products like social media, some apps, a cryptocurrency, banks, uh, 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 you know, and all this while so many people are still struggling to combine the traditional banking system and the uh, cryptocurrency. The DT socialized holding has already done that to the point that they have their very own bank, the DTS Circle Bank. So this is all one entity. So all these companies here belong to this entity and are basically just subsidiary companies belonging to the DT Socialize with their very own identity. And they can actually each do, not that they can, they will be doing business, not just for the DT Socialize, but they will also be offering their services to other companies and this way generating even more revenues for the DT, DT Socialized Holding, and of course, for the shareholders, because the DT Socialized is going to be listed, right? Remember? So there will be shareholders of the DT Socialized, and there will also be token holders that will also get some money from uh, some commissions from uh, the profit made by the holding, right? So we just want to make sure um, the company finishes their a uh, public listing. And once that is done, well, it's gonna take, it's gonna take, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's, what kind of fuel it's gonna take to the moon, but all I know is that I'm going with them. I don't know about you. I don't know if you, you know, you, you, you're still gonna be a bystander. I gave you the example of people, successful leaders, what they do, once they see a good opportunity, they seize it and they don't let it go. Unsuccessful one, what they do, they take forever to make the decision to join 
And as soon as they join, at the first little tornado, they're gone. They don't want to be there anymore. No, it's too stressful. And they jump to something else where they're going to lose money as well. And they go from project to project to project and they never settle anywhere. So as we all know, the listing process for this type of company is extremely complex. And yet the company is spending all money, like a lot of money to go through that process and for that reason, they took, as we saw on, on this one here, they took the service of Hill Dickinson to, uh, to assist them in, um, in, in, in the project. So um, Daniele Marinelli still believes that it's gonna happen in 2021. So all we can do is cross our fingers, right? Cross our fingers and, and see it happen. Because as soon as we are publicly listed, it means every three months at the maximum commissions should be paid to token holders. Now, Daniele Marinelli is actually thinking of paying even uh, more often than three months. Because if we make a lot of money as we anticipate, as he anticipates, uh, he should be able to pay people every month, right? He should be able to pay people every single month. Now let's look at, um, so this is another bigger view of, uh, of the holding and all the subsidiary companies. Now let's talk about the DT Circle security token. The, um, this particular token, as opposed to all the other tokens that we are used to that, are, that we find on, on marketplaces and exchanges like Binance and uh, Coinbase and uh, OKX, the difference is that this token is a security token while those tokens are utility token. Now, you're probably gonna ask me what's the difference between the two. The difference is that the utility token value is based on supply and demand. Whereas the security token value is based on the intrinsic value of the entire community, of the entire company and group of company that the token represents. That is a huge difference. And usually security token like this one never go down. They always go up because the company will gain value more and more and more. And uh, that is the reason why some people actually predict that the DT Circle token might gain value all the way up to $100. Why not more, right? We, today we see how much uh, a Tesla share cost. When it started, it wasn't that high, right? We see that. So that is the, 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 the DT Circle. A uh, security token. So the, 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 the token listing date uh, is unavailable for the moment, but it will be communicated in due time. So the DT Circle utility, uh, so a security token used to only represent the companies, right? This token here used to only represent the ecosystem that was in uh, DT Circle. But now, one thing that we should see is that the company has grown so big out of the ecosystem. It has grown to this one here, this one here, this one here, and all these that were not initially in here. And because it has grown, now the company has decided that the token that we initially hold just, or initially held just for DT Circle, is now considered a token representing all subsidiary companies of the holding. Imagine how much profit this alone could generate. Then this alone, this alone, this alone, this alone, and so on. Now imagine that you take all those profit and you get a share because you are a token holder. Yes, that's exactly how you do the math. That's exactly how you do the math. Quick reminder, 
Facebook alone last year made $80 billion just with data. Now I'll let you guesstimate how much a token holder of DT Circle token will get. So basically, it goes way further than this. It goes way further now, now than just the ecosystem because all the companies have to be considered in the math for profit and because they're not just going to be working for uh for our members right for our community members they'll also be offering their services to outside companies right and then all the money generated will be part of the profit that will be shared by all the community members this is just amazing this is just so uh, so amazing. Anyway, let's go through the different companies that are, uh, I hope I, I, I'll be able to tell you about every single one of them, but let's quickly go through um, the different companies making up this holding. Let's start with this UOP instant messaging application. It's going to be something similar to Telegram or WhatsApp. I said similar, but again, it's going to be instant messaging 2.0. Why? Because all your communication will be encrypted and you will never need to share any of your personal information, whether your phone number or your email address or your name, in order to communicate with somebody else. You will generate a code, a link that you will send to the other person. And once they accept, you will then have an open line of communication with them. So this is the result of a wonderful work accomplished by, uh, by, by the team that we have in Miami. Uh, and, and they're also assisted by uh, you know, some universities, the students that are working with them. So this is going to be another incredible application. You can actually already download it. It's available on, on uh, App Store and Play Store. So App Store is iPhone and Play Store is uh, Google Android. So you want to have this already because if you start using it, you're already making money. Whether your phone is a blockchain phone or not, you will be making money already. So you, I recommend you start using it. So the next one I want to talk about is the now very famous DTS Circle Bank. This is our very own bank, right? The DTS Circle Bank. This bank is the first ever in, the, in uh, the story of crypto, in the history of cryptocurrency. This is gonna be the first ever bank where you will have all dedicated services that you know from a traditional bank, as well as crypto payments and crypto exchange. You'll be able to exchange your fiat currency with, you know, to get crypto and vice versa. Anyone who is member of this community and who got a bank account, like uh, one of those accounts, depending on where you are in Africa, for example, uh, most countries with a U card of 300, 600 or 1200, you get uh, a bank account offered to you for life, a trust account. If you are in, the uh, in Europe and uh, in you know most country in Europe, most country in uh, America, in North America, I should say, uh, you would need a U card to purchase a U card for three thousand, six thousand, or uh, twelve thousand in order to get this. For three thousand, you get a standard one, and for six and twelve thousand, you get a gold. Of course, the limits are also different. For more details. We have our other video where we covered that already. Now, let's talk about up market. We don't talk a lot about uh, up market. This is our subsidiary company used to acquire other licenses. For example, our Estonia licenses, um, you know, these licenses have proven to be very hard for other companies to get, and yet we got them. So that is where the holding got all the license for both the token and the coin. And the reason for that is because 
uh, Estonia was the very first country to regulate uh, cryptocurrencies. And no wonder why you see so many projects always going to Estonia and you know all those uh, some of the East European companies. So we are currently taking a giant step um, uh, as we keep hearing a lot about Estonia, right? So Estonia regulations have been even surpassed by regulations from uh, Lithuania. Uh, is that how it's called? I think. Anyway, what is being done with up market is big, especially because other countries, uh, you know, followed Estonia footstep, as I was saying, Lithuania is the name, uh, right? So Lithuania followed Estonia footstep and went even a few steps further to strengthen their regulations. So several digital banks, for example, one very famous one, Revolut, uh, Revolut, which I believe is a bank that belongs to the Wallex, right? To the Wallex Bank or they work in partnership, something like that, uh, are using, for example, Lithuanian licenses for the crypto wallet because the Lithuanian licenses have proven to be even more rigid, more strict. And that's the reason why uh, DTS Socialized is planning on transferring all their, um, all their Estonian licenses to, to go to uh, Lithuania uh, and, and, and get licenses from there now, all right? They've proven to be a lot stricter, which is the reason why we go in there. So that's about uh, upmarket. Now let's look at Nova VPN. What is Nova VPN? Of course, we all know Nova VPN. Uh, Nova VPN is a company that was bought, 100% of it was bought or acquired by DT Socialized. Now, keep in mind, we are in business of privacy. We're in business of securing people data, people privacy, people private data. And for that reason, you want to be able to surf the web without leaving tracks everywhere. And, and that's where you need a VPN. And for that reason, Nova VPN is the way to go. Now, if you're a member of this community, I think you should really consider, consider using Nova VPN if you use VPN for whatever, because then you will basically be paying and generating profit that you will get shared off. Instead of, let's say, go using uh, another uh, VPN and, and, and making them money that, is not, that you're not getting a share of, right? So you want to make sure you're using um, your own products, right? It's like if you start, if you were a Pepsi owner, of course, you will try to drink more Pepsi, right? Instead of drinking Coca-Cola, for example, that's what I'm trying to say. So that's about uh, Nova VPN. Now we have Azure Payment System Limited. So that is another great subsidiary of the holding. It deals with payments. It's very particular as they are able to generate, like Azure Payment System is able to generate their own IBAN or IBAN numbers. You know the IBAN, if you have an account and you send money internationally, then you know the IBAN. So they have the ability to generate their own uh, IBAN. So companies like Azure Payment System are identified as EMI, Electronic Money Institution because they, they will enable the, uh, the holding and its subsidiary to internally handle uh, and process online transaction. That's exactly what they do. But they will not only do it for the holding, they'll also offer the service to other companies that are out there and that need that expertise. Next, the next one I want us to look at is DT Finance Limited. So this is a UK-based company, all right? It's a UK-based company, and it will be responsible um, for the licenses being acquired to create and, hide and handle financial data accounts. So one thing that this company is doing right now is becoming, putting themselves in the forefront and creating a framework for future financial data acquisition. Once they do that, 
they would basically set the path for others to follow. And because we'll be on the forefront, we'll be able to generate more profit for the company and for the members and for the token holders, right? Uh, let's talk about Cospay Limited. Now, Cospay Limited is owned at 25% by the holding, and it has an agreement with uh, MasterCard and Visa uh, to issue cards like prepaid cards, right? Like the one that I showed you before. Uh, so you understand that this is our own subsidiary that will be responsible for issuing our own bank, uh, you know, DTS Circuit Bank um, members debit cards that will also be prepared credit card. The beauty to have Cospe in our holding is that they'll not only offer that service to us, but they'll also offer it to uh, other fintech companies, you know, and this way generating more profit for us, right? Because we have tokens. Now, let's talk about Tado. Tado is an American software company recently acquired by a DT Socialized Holding. They are specialized, they're specialized in double analysis payment system. So basically they make all your online payment more secure, more secure than what this, the level of security currently available on the current online payment uh, system and online transaction system. So we also expect that a lot of company will be using their services because they taking the online payment system at a next standard. Now let's talk about ABC. ABC is uh, another recent acquisition of the holding. What they do is they develop banking software that deal with, uh, with payment and other routine banking activities. That's what ABC does. Now, at the end, let's talk about Dovre. What is Dovre? Um, Dovre is a bit more complex. Their expertise is the creation of new and innovative financial products, such as investment funds and similar products. So Dovre will create <clears throat> such, sorry, such products and make it available for banks. A certain percentage of all the products created, like in terms of revenue, will be linked to our token so that any money made by those services will also get us money and commissions in our pocket. It is just incredible what is coming, guys, if you are a token holder, right? So now, a little secret that was given to us by uh, Anthony Margot, who is uh, very close uh, was very involved, not just, uh, you know, uh, not just through network marketing, but also money wise, because he actually put a lot of his own money into the project. Uh, one thing that he mentioned is that uh, in theory, planning this September, the holding, the company is planning to start shipping these debit cards to all the account holders. Now, the reason that they're doing that is as a gift to allow us to, uh, to load. So the, the card will be linked to our dashboard, right? And then we will be able to transfer money, whether uh, crypto converted or fiat money uh, that we earn in whichever way, transfer $2,000 or 2,000 euros, I don't remember, to the card and then use it anywhere we want. So we'll be able to transfer that money onto the card and go to the ATM machine and take it out or use it to, to pay anywhere uh, the card is accepted. As simple as that. I think it's gonna be 20, uh, 2,000 euros monthly that we'll be able to transfer onto the card. And members will, uh, will also be able to use their online account in the coming weeks as Daniele Marinelli also said, so we just, uh, we're just waiting for him to announce it himself. Uh, we haven't heard when the next announcement Zoom is planned, but uh, I'll keep everybody uh, posted. So this is basically all um, you know, that was covered during, this is all that was covered during that meeting. Um, I hope you enjoyed it the way I personally enjoyed it. 
Uh, I hope you're excited with what is coming on, uh, you know, with all these stuff. It's just crazy. Like seeing a project like this that started uh, in 2016 as just a great idea, slowly taking shape and growing and growing and growing and growing, creating framework for, you know, being on the forefront of so many um, disruptive technologies. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud, you know, I, I know that this project is going to go extremely far. And again, those who would have taken a stand, taken a position immediately are those who are going to earn the most reward. Those who are waiting to see the fruits on the tree before they, you know, before they try to get some, well, uh, it's going to be too late for them because some people are already up there on the tree eating those fruits. So it's up to you whether you want to wait on the sideline or whether you want to, you know, join and uh, join the, uh, the journey and, and be part of it. Okay, so uh, is there any questions about, um, about the DT socialized announcement that were made by Daniele Marinelli on uh, August 27th? Are you guys still there? Uh, sure yes, we, uh, leader, you we are. It's a lot of information. Okay. I think Ari Yemi has raised his hand. Yes, I said, uh, Leader Yemi. Yeah, thank you, uh, Leader Pascal. I quite uh, appreciate this uh, talk that you are giving today. And uh, I'm very excited about this uh, DT project. I mean, they are very exciting. And uh, I want to see how I can uh, get registered onto it. Yes, you have sent me something, I do it, but I couldn't have a headway through it. So I don't know if you can really help me and let me know the process involved and what to do at this stage to get registered, get the card or whatever that needs to be done. Particularly the African model, that you talk about that yeah. is different from other nations uh, model. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. The uh, the uh, the comp plan and uh, the entry levels for African countries is different from uh, from most countries. Uh, with the entry level being at twenty dollars, uh, sorry, twenty euros, and uh, if you want to have that uh, free for life bank account. I should say trust account, then uh, it's going to be um, 300 euros for the first one, which in, I don't know how much that is in Naira, but I know in, in CFA franc is not much. It's like 200,000 CFA franc, which is not much for many. Uh, or if you want a gold account, uh, then you have to go with 600 euro account or 1200 euro account that would give you a gold uh, account with a credit card with up limit, I believe at 10,000. Uh, so that is that is the account. I can definitely assist you in, uh, in creating your account. Um, but did I send you the slides that show you this the every every step? Uh no, no. You, that 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 was the time when you were say you said that uh, you are about to translate it from uh, French to English or something like that. I see. So, so, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll send you. I'll send you that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem. I'll do that. Um, next is um, Margaret. Hello, Margaret. Okay. Thank you for the presentation. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. Uh, my question is about the, the bank that you talked about that is already uh, open here. That is, is in usage already here, right? Yes, it is. It is incorporated and the planning to uh, to release it for us to start using it this month of September. 
Oh, okay. Okay, so when you register, when you do your uh, register on DT Social, create account on DT Social. That is the account. DT Socialize. Yeah, on DT Socialize. That's the the bank, or it's no. a separate. No. Once you're done creating, there, there are a few steps. First step, you create your account. Second step, you buy the U card. Third step, you buy the token or the phone, depending on how much U card you purchased. Once you're done with all these three first steps, the next step is to, uh, to create your custody, your DT Circle custody account. I, I don't know. I, I'll have to send you the slides as well because I don't know if Caroline knows that step. But once you're done with, uh, you know, purchasing your phone or purchasing the token, the next step is then to create the account. Now, keep in mind and don't tell me, oh, why is it too complicated or why is it too much work? When you go to the bank and you create, you open an account, I want to remind you on how many kind of paper they get you to sign. Keep in mind, DTS Circle Bank is a regulated bank, the first ever to handle both crypto and, and, uh, and fiat. So I find the process actually pretty simple for, for something of that magnitude. Any other well, question? I wasn't going to ask you that anyway. No, no, I know. I'm just saying because uh, sometimes I talk to people and they say, oh, why is it so complicated? Yeah, usually I'm tempted to say, you know what, maybe you should just leave it. Don't, don't do it. It's, uh, it's easier that way. That way it's actually even easier for you because you don't have to do anything. Not you, but the person. Actually, it doesn't look that bad that what they are requesting, if you don't know, what to present to them, that's really what is taking the time. Yeah. We will uh, we'll find some time and work on your account. I think there are a few things that uh, you missed, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll fix that. Okay. Dida Razak, you. you're welcome. Okay, thank you. Um, the first thing I want is a request. Actually, I've talked to one or two friends about it, but I'm not sending them any uh, any 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 uh, media, any 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 video to support uh -huh. what I'm talking about. So uh -huh. it's a request. I wanted to send me something that I can present. Probably you can put it on the Telegram or you can send it to me on WhatsApp. Anyhow, let me so that I can present. That is a uh, number one. When you are talking with a uh, blessed child, uh, you mentioned four steps. I know of three steps. I've registered, I've bought the U card, and I've uh, bought the uh, DT token. But mention a fourth one, which I don't think I've done that. It's okay. Now you can go ahead and do it. That is the creation of the um, the actual bank account. Okay, so can you send me the uh, the details on how to go about that too? Okay, we'll actually okay, so that do that. Two, two requests. Yeah, Thank I will you. do that right away. Did you send those friend of yours? Did you send them um, the link with the videos, like for the introduction? Mm, oh, we do one on one talking. Okay, I actually sent one video, which is a French video to a guy who I know that he speaks French very well. Is an interpreter at the embassy. So, and I've been calling him to know, okay, have you gone through it? Most times when I'm calling, is that in the trans, in the bus or whatever? And uh, and when you're inside bus, I don't think it's the best place to talk about something important. That's my own feeling. I believe when you get to, so most times we're missing each other. By the time you get to, maybe I'm busy at home doing some other things. I'll forget that we, I'll remember late around the 11, 12 p.m which is not the right time to call someone. But yeah. I've sent it to him. So, but the other people I'm talking about are uh, English speaking people. And so I discussed them verbally. One even asked me yesterday, asked me how far I've not sent it. I said, okay, I'll send, I'll send. But I want to be sure of what I'm sending to him. Okay.
you want the actual presentation, why don't you send them uh, my presentation of uh, of the, the, the marketing plan? If, if that's good, do it, please send it. I just want something that can, it can go through and do grab it properly. Well, some people just like, you know, videos that they can just uh, watch and, and, and understand. Well, that is good, but I also want some people who have to, you know, there are sometimes you send some video to people, they will tell you to, okay, like a lady, I sent something to her on um, AI marketing. She was still asking me questions, and definitely from the question, I'm, I'm very sure she didn't even go through the video. So maybe right. we can have the two. Because we have right. you, yeah, check, check, check your telegram. I just sent it to you. And uh, Lido Yemi, I have I have sent it to you back in um, some times ago, August 19. I sent you all the three steps to begin with. Okay, I'll, I'll check again. Yeah, if you check your Telegram, you'll find it in there. I am actually looking at your Telegram. It's in, in it's in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I also send you the last one for the banking registration. Oh, uh, okay then. Yeah. Okay. How about the other one for the completion of my registration? I mean, the, the four steps in the registration. I sent it to you as well. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Any other question before we uh, we close for tonight? I think we have enough to digest for tonight. <laughs> I tend to agree I with thought you. you said you, I thought you said you're going to send me some too. No, I said we were going to work together, but I can send you everything. I have no problem. Okay. Let me, let me send you everything. Oh, you said we're going to work. Yeah. Let me send you, I'll send you everything as well. I send you everything so you have them. You also on Telegram, right? <laughs> yes. Divine favor. No, I have you with your actual name. Really? How did you do that? I saved you on my phone. Okay. So the first file you're getting is actually uh, for the banking registration. Okay. And then uh, the last three uh, for the registration, the actual steps to register. So first one is registration. Um, that's step one. Oh, you should. Step two is purchasing the U card. Did you do what I asked you to do about uh, that U card? Did you create? Did you email that lady? Did she answer? I did, but this time we will need in an answer urgently. She did not respond. Okay, yeah, that's because it's probably late. It was uh, kind of late, so hopefully you'll get an answer tomorrow. Okay. Leader Razak, the video is all on uh, YouTube. Okay. Uh, I'll send you the uh, the YouTube link. Okay, thank you.
Okay. So visit and grab uh, any any video you find relevant. So this is the actual playlist. I sent it to you as well, Margaret. To you, Razak. And to you, uh, Yemi. Thanks. All right. Any other question? Before I let you guys go and uh, go have a rest myself. No? All right. Thank you very much, everyone, for having attended tonight. As I said, uh, we're going to be changing the way we do things. So please think of, uh, uh, you know, something you want to present, whether it's uh, AI marketing or, or, um, or what's the other one, DT Socialize. All it takes is just watch as many videos as possible. There's not a lot of content in English. I'm creating the content in English. And, and then the rest is just about getting prepared and reading through your slides. And eventually you'll get better. You, you won't need to read and you just know it. All right. Okay. Thank you very much and have a good night, guys. Thank you. Good night. All right. You too. Good night. Thank you. Everyone. Good night. Good night.